so what is up kp squad it is your girl kp and i am back with another vlog if you're new to the channel my name is kendra i'm 24 i'm from the real 804 and i'm an entrepreneur working a nine to five so y'all today it's raining okay but as y'all can see the sun has kind of like come out now but it is still raining um i do want to shout out my cousin because last time we went to her last concert um she's a part of the virginia state gospel choir i'm gonna just cue some clips right here. They really did their thing last night. Shout out to her. It's her senior year. So shout out to everybody graduating in 2023. Okay, y'all. So today we're going to be tackling some of the home improvements and decor items I've been wanting to do for a hot minute now. And then I'm going to do like a tour at the end of the video so that y'all can see what it's giving. Because it's going to give. But I'm just so excited. Let's just get right into it. I'm gonna start by basically taking everything out because I want to switch some stuff around and I need like all that space in the back to be cleared. So, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Clear everything out of here for the most part. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Everything is pushed off to the side because I just need this wall free, so I'm trying to read the instructions, girl. Look, I done ripped it up. Okay. So it says measure the size of coverage, cut the paper. Cut the paper. Okay. But just for reference, this room is not that big. Um, I may put the details in the description, maybe. And let's just try to do it, girl. It's got like this little paper on the back of it and this is like a matte black so yeah i'm scared <laughs> i'm gonna go get a credit card so i can rub the bubbles out all i want to show is my connection lose myself inside the revenue oh my god it looks so freaking good i know it's just one Okay, so I've done it. 
Um, it wasn't hard. Um, the hardest thing is trying to line the seams up so it's not like too noticeable. I feel like you can like barely see, you don't really see it from certain angles and certain lighting. Um, and you gotta make sure all the bubbles is out. But y'all, I ran out. So I need to fill up this section as well as this little corner over here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go on Amazon and just order a small roll just so I can finish it. And hopefully it'll be here tomorrow so that y'all can see it. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, any bubbles or lumps that you see really are just lumps. Like I think it's just cause this wall has been painted over. It just has like some texture in it, got some gases in it, got some lumps and all types of stuff in it. So um, if you have a wall similar to that, definitely like when you're using like whatever you're gonna use, like I was using my card, just swipe gently. Because if you swipe too hard, like trying to like make sure it gets around the grooves and stuff, girl, you will bust a hole in this wallpaper. Cause I got a few ones, the lumps was kind of big. So yeah but y'all can't really tell it looks really good on camera in the meantime i'm just gonna put everything back in its place i'm probably gonna move some stuff around but first i want to show y'all like some of the issues and like some of the visions okay so for one y'all i got this stain on the carpet i don't i mean i didn't do this i don't know what it is and then they stapled this cable wire because I'm assuming they had a TV up. Um, but I don't need it. So I'm trying to like rip it out of the wall. So I think I'm going to put a rug right here to cover it up. And I think I want to put some type of like decal. Or if I have extra black, I may put it in this little seam right here. I got this table. And it looks crazy right now because I threw everything on there. But I really want to get a desk. Um, and it won't be this big. So I'm kind of trying to brainstorm how I want things to sit if I had the desk. I'm going to start organizing everything and then we're going to move on to something else. Not you thinking about food and saying, oh yeah. <laughs> it's not pay week. Hmm. What does that mean? Oh, that ain't a this looks so good, but I've had about two phone calls. I've been on the phone. And I also been trying to work. So what I did was is I moved my sewing machine over here so i got like a little sewing station i literally have a bag full of like party stuff like either it's decorations or like gift wrapping and this is like girl is it junk is it junk because i'm trying to separate all of my personal stuff from my business stuff i just have stuff that i planned on like putting on a shelf like on display or something like that and i don't have no display i don't even have a tv stand the most display that i have is in my room so it's just like girl where is this stuff gonna go in between time because i'm trying to make this strictly business strictly business but i'm making progress girl i'm making progress close the chapter on that shackles from the shackles two hours later I'm gonna just be completely honest I'm so tired and I'm hungry and I just looked at my to-do list and I didn't do anything on it yet. Um, <laughs> but I've been trying to edit this video. So the last video, no, I've been trying to edit my home buying video. And oh my gosh, I don't know why the file started to act like it was corrupt or something when I was editing. Not even just the, not the file, but like 
the project started to act crazy. So, y'all just see, I be putting that work in. Oh my gosh, because I'm trying to upload it tomorrow. So, that's why I'm like, let me not try to push it, push it off. Because I need to have it uploaded and like stuff like this. Why it's exporting takes a long time. And then it takes another amount of time to upload it to YouTube. So, <sighs> now that that's done. Okay, I still have to do like the description and stuff, but we're going to worry about that in a little minute. So let me show y'all what I got done in the office first. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put up these shelves, okay? And then I'm going to eat, child, because I keep on trying to wait, 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 put it off because I usually eat dinner kind of late. But I'm like, girl, it's giving hungry. One thing I did want to tell y'all is that since making my home buying video, um, I did want to say a disclaimer that, yeah, I put on the title like how to get a home at a certain age but don't rush something that you feel like you're not ready for and don't feel pressure just because i'm young and i have my own place and you know what the old folks would say i'm established and i'm set and this that, and the other do not feel pressure y'all i'm just trying to like make it um clear that it isn't impossible you know i'm kind of just trying to encourage y'all not to like feel like it's something you have to like wait all these years to get or feel like you had to have a family to have um and that's kind of like my thought process but I also don't want people to start comparing like oh well, I'm 24 and I don't have a home and da da da, da and you know because we all are going through different situations and we're all on different paths in life but I really just want to use it more as an encouragement moment so just take heed to that because i know it's so many people that post like now like the whole black luxury thing and you know to me it's not very realistic for everybody it's not realistic for everybody everybody can't be out on a yacht in cabo every other week you know what i mean like that's not real life for everybody and you know a home and you know buying a home may not be real life for everybody but to me and this is just to me I'm just showing y'all how it can be a possibility. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon you can have your own stuff. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to put that out there. Okay, okay, so y'all know where we at. You know, last vlog, I kind of left y'all on a cliffhanger about the shelf, but yes, it is up. It's been doing well. I haven't had any issues i haven't put anything heavy on this so don't be trying to come for me like is it secure because honey it's secure enough okay so i bought me another one like i told y'all because i want to put one right over top of this Oops. make sure i put it right girl okay i want to put one right on top like this so i think one is going to be more like practical and one is going to be like decor okay so let me actually explain how i did this because y'all seen me struggling last vlog and i was just kind of like girl i'm just trying to make it do what it do but basically i'm taking the um back hooks i'm just take them off okay just a reminder this is not a tutorial okay girl but let me tell y'all this because look at this look at this y'all look at this so why when I came in last night from the concert with y'all, we didn't get back home till like 12 a.m. in the morning. So I'm trying to grab all my stuff out the car, like all my junk, all my breakfast stuff, cups and all that type of stuff out of the car. So I come in, I got all my junk. And when I walk through the door to try to put my key up, girl, I dropped. I dropped my favorite mug. One of my favorite mugs. Cause y'all know I love Valentine's Day and that was the one it was. 
I I felt like because it's ceramic, it wasn't gonna break like that. Girl, broke into pieces. Broke into pieces. <sighs> Mug on. Okay. I can't believe this. I really just played myself. I put the glue up here, y'all. But I thought I had one that was brand new, unopened. This one is open and it's dried out. It's dried out. Did I just play myself? I think I really just played myself again with these shells again. Let's move on. So we, we, we're not making no more mistakes, you feel me? You feel me right? Okay, so we're in the guest bathroom. This is above the toilet right here. Y'all can't see it. But y'all remember I had my racks and I was devastated last time. One of them was dropped in the toilet. I couldn't hang it up or whatever. So we about to put them up. I'm about to just measure where I want to put them. I think I want them right about here. Let's see how I feel. Can y'all see clearly? Can y'all see clearly? This is a rough angle because the toilet is kind of like in the way. But this time, y'all, I got me the jersey. So it's time. So let me make sure this is how I want to look. I'm going to get all my pieces together. Like I said, it's got these like clear backing things, girl. I don't know. Like something like that. not for me this life is just not for me it's just not for me because look at this y'all i'm over here trying to drill holes in today's trying to figure out how do this go to that how do this go to that how do this go to that and also and remember y'all i tried to put this up look at this why why is it Why can I? Oh. Just as I thought. Trash. <laughs> this is. <laughs> okay. Let's just make it cute. Let's make it cute. this house up like I really can't believe that this happened I'm gonna put anything to cover that up okay I got my little candle my mama got me for my what she get this for my birthday no she got this she got this for me for Valentine's Day I'm gonna put that right there for now okay 
I'm about to find something else to put on there. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl, this is so embarrassing. This is embarrassing, like for real. It look all right from a distance. Two hours later. Okay, it's late. Um, it's like eleven. I had to just step away, and I ate and I watched a movie. But the movie that I watched was very um sad, and I think it kind of just drained me emotionally. So if you feel like my energy is off, that's why. But if y'all haven't watched Silent Twins on amazon prime definitely go check it out it's based off of a true story so i also went back and watched the original documentary that was put out about them by bbc about these twins that had like a really bad speech impediment it wasn't even that bad but it's definitely a speech impediment they just went through hell and back living in a country that they are not from <laughs> y'all the movie had my head hurting i'm not even gonna lie like i was frustrated and i was confused i'm, I'm not even gonna like cap to y'all i was very confused while watching the movie it reminded me of swarm yeah that's my two cents so let's get into it let's move on so um i got this lamp and i got two of them from Target. This is from the Project 62 collection. My parents actually bought this for me. This was like one of my first couple like things I got for the house. And y'all see where they at? They've been on the floor. Okay. Both the lamps have been on the floor. So I have been looking for nightstands that I feel like, you know, was really giving me and was going to match the vibe in here. Like I was really searching for a while. And then by the time I found some ones that I liked or like was debating on what I should get, I ain't had no money for it. So shout out to my aunt for paying for my nightstands. So I'm going to finally put them together so my lamps is not sitting on the floor. Y'all, my lamps been sitting on the floor for dang near five months now. That is so ghetto. The lamp work whether it's on a pedestal or not. Hmm. Some of that went over y'all head. Message. Oh, okay, sir. 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 Okay, Weirdo every week, weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. Put it up, no care for the IG disease. Do anything for club. They do anything for club. Do anything for club. They do anything for club. Do anything for club. They do anything for club. Do anything for club. Bitch, watch your mouth. Watch. Bitch, stay in your place. Place. Bitch, get out the way. My bitch on your ass, QK. Yeah, no disrespect. The nigga be tripping, but we love yeah. Swapping that cost on my bitch. I bought her the lemon. She bought me the rake. Good morning. Good morning. It's not morning, child. It is 2 25. Um this morning, I just feel like I needed to relax. Um, I took a nap. But here we are. I'm about to print some t-shirts. I need to fulfill an order. This one's to my cousin. I told y'all last vlog. And I'm just really like nervous now because I washed the screens. Because I told y'all I felt like the screens was just dirty. And that's why they wasn't printing that well. Um, I did wash them to me. I feel like they are still dirty or still have like some leftover residue. Because if this is going to be an ongoing issue, it's a big issue. But nevertheless, let's just try to do it. Um, but while I'm working, I wanted to mention that, like, if anybody out there is wanting to, like, switch your career or wanting to just, like, do something else, period, and maybe you don't feel like you're either qualified or you feel like you're not doing enough and, you know, it's just, like, not enough. 
Because I've been like battling of like, am I not working hard enough? Am I not pushing hard enough? And really it came clear to me because I feel like I don't contribute at my job that much. And I'm just like, how am I going to expect to get a better job and or work as an entrepreneur if I don't even really work hard at my job? But I also had a realization that I work hard on the stuff that I want to work hard for. Okay, like I work hard on my business. I work hard on any organization that I'm in. I work hard on any project that I have. Like I take pride into stuff that I <laughs> like curate. You know what I mean? Like put 10 toes down on anything that I feel like is going to fully fulfill me and I feel like I'm going to get something out of it. Anything else, you're going to get the bare minimum. Like that's how I know what I do. Is like my quote-unquote career job is not something I want to do because I put little to no effort into it. Okay, now the stuff that I do put effort into is something that I want to do. It's just clear. It's just clear. So, if anybody else feel like that, I feel like I can't be the only one that like, you know, if it's something that I want to do, I'm going to really do it. And if it's something that I don't, good luck. Because <laughs> you ain't getting the effort from me. Okay, but let me give y'all some music because I know y'all like that little <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I've got everything done. Got the order ready. Um, I don't feel the greatest about it because it's just not the best print. And I'm trying not to get frustrated about the whole situation, but what the heck is going on? Like, I feel like I've been failing for the past two weekends and I'm trying to figure out the solution and it's not really coming. So that's why I'm like even more like irritated because I'm like, how am I going to fix it? How am I going to fix it? But nevertheless, I wanted to show y'all my new business cards that I got. Um, they put them in these flimsy boxes, but this is what they look like. I think I ordered like 500 of them. I actually got these from Awesome Merch. They actually went up on their prices because it's a UK based company. So I guess the shipping went up, girl. I was like, oh no. But I think it was like $30 for 500 So it isn't terrible. But these are like super thin. So they're not thick. So they would tarnish very easily. 
But to me, business cards are more so for the resource. So once you scan this code, you're not gonna need the card no more. You shouldn't. You should just follow us. So you don't need it. Then I also got my thank you cards, and I got these from um, freeprints.com. This what it look like. And I told y'all this before, but these are actually just photocopies. That's all they are if you look at the back. They're just photos. And I added a little line down here. I'm gonna start signing them. But yeah, just a cute little thank you card. I wanted them to be more heartfelt than the ones I previously had. And I'm thinking about adding like a sticker or some other card that has like a discount code on it. But I know one day I'm gonna make a discount code just for y'all, just for the people on YouTube. Cause I hope y'all rooting for me. Per. So I think I'm gonna take a break and eat something and then we're gonna start painting y'all. So I got these huge canvases. These are 16 by 20. It was on sale at Hobby Lobby for only $6.99. And once I get back, I'm gonna tell, <clears throat> and once I get back, I'm gonna let y'all know the vision because I'm very excited, but I hope I don't mess it up because my paintings be going from all that in the bag of chips to, girl, you should have you should have left it alone, okay? My name Big Cop, don't call me Kim Hope. I got my canvases. I'm going to put them sideways and these are going to go in the bathroom. So let me show you my inspiration. This one I'm going for. I was like searching for multiple like paintings and stuff. For one, paintings are expensive. Okay, that's why I'm doing it myself as well as like inspo photos. And I wasn't sure that I want to go like graphic, like graffiti type which i still might use that idea or should i go like nude because you know we in the bathroom and i really love like a women's silhouette type thing so i'm gonna go ahead and put the lady's design like her body across both canvases so it's gonna be like a flowing theme and i was looking for that online y'all but everybody they do like one piece they don't do like a you know like a three piece set type piece that makes sense. I let y'all know when I went to go take my trash out just now and I had a whole bunch of recyclables so I had to take like two three trips and my neighbor ended up coming out while I was taking my run to the trash can now she ended up she ended up helping me but I low-key feel like she even came outside to take her trash out because she seen me taking my trash out and she was like yeah I didn't get a chance to talk to you da 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 she was like I live downstairs and y'all it went from just introducing herself to like spilling all the tea about the hoa and how the board is jacked up and all this mess child but you gotta watch people like that because the fact that she was just so open to like tell me all the tea it's like girl you know something about that was your problem like you was a problem in one of those cases but she was spilling the tea about all the people in this building too 
and how there's been like people selling drugs and how my neighbor went to jail and how there was like some real bad water damage in my bathroom i'm like girl what 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 and what but you know i like hearing the tea but i gotta watch her too you know what i mean i can't just be trusting her because she know a little too much but she also been here for like 14 years so it's like obviously you would know everything y'all i lived in my parents house for 21 years i know a lot of stuff about my neighbors like a lot of stuff but that's a long time you know how much stuff happens in 20 some years you know what i'm saying but yeah i just had to tell y'all that because i'm just like girl what and i'm just over here trying to take my trash out i ain't you know i'm not doing anything crazy but let's go hang my paintings up what do this boy want like it's getting out of control. Taunton, uh, we just talked. Oh my god. Don't go not feel ah! you know, that man that man always wanna call my phone. I think it's an Aquarius thing. They just oh so clingy. Y'all see what she giving? It looks so it looks so good from a distance. Like from a distance, it looks so good. I'm looking at the, the harsh details, but it looks good. Now on the gag here is trying to get these to be even. And I need them to be exactly even too. No if ands or buts. <laughs> no if ands or buts. <laughs> It looks good. Hold on. It works, I think.